in this nugget we'll go ahead and we'll start talking about h323 now today sip is the standard or the most common protocol being deployed especially when it's going out to the itsp but the reality is, is that h323 is still being used today so in this nugget we'll start our discussion of h323 then we'll look at a few call flows and also look at dtmf so when it comes to h323 it was actually approved in 1996 which is a long time ago for many of us and in reality, HD23 is really a suite of different protocols. It is based on the Q931 protocol, which is signaling for the ISDN or Integrated Services Digital Network. Now today, SIP is the dominant protocol or the protocol being used in many environments. So you have a SIP trunk to a ITSP, and that's how you're able to make your inbound calls or receive inbound calls. Now you might have or be using HD23 if you have a voice gateway and you have pure eyes going out to the PSTN. So this H323 gateway is configured on CUCM and the inbound and outbound calls from the PSTN come through that PRI, which is configured on that H323 gateway. And this is why I've seen H323 gateways in my past environment is because we had a requirement to have PRIs because maybe SIP was not supported for some reason. Now when it comes to H323, it is a peer-to-peer -peer protocol. And this is because we have to configure this gateway to have its own dial plan that's not dependent of CUCM. So all the call processing is done on that H323 gateway that's not reliant on CUCM. Now this is different than MGCP where the voice gateway actually registers to CUCM and therefore CUCM is in control of that gateway. But with H323, that is not the case. As we mentioned, H323 is a suite of protocols. We'll talk about two of them here, one being H225. This handles the call setup and the teardown. And by default, this goes over port 1720. Then we have H245. This negotiates the audio, the video, and the codec compatibility between both sides. So this is referred to as compatibilities as change. We also have logical channel signaling. And this opens and closes a channel that's used to carry the media. So we're talking about RTP and also RTCP. So RTP is the media stream. And then RTCP, the, which is the RTP control protocol. And this actually monitors stats for that media stream, including quality of service, packet loss, how many packets, any type of delay. So it provides us information about that call. Then we have master slave determination. You also see this referred to as master responder in some documentation. Whoever is determined to be the master has a final say, and therefore this is used to resolve any conflicts during the setup of the call. So when it comes to H323, we have fast start and slow start. This is very similar to SIP where we have early offer and we have delayed offer. So with fast start, we have our media connections started at the beginning of the call. So before the call has been fully set up. With slow start, we have our media after the call has been set up. So we're looking at call flows when it comes to fast start, additional information in the setup message. Now what information is there? Like IP address, codec to be used, ports to be used. With slow start, that information is not in the setup message, so therefore you have more messages going back and forth when using slow start. By default, gateways use fast start, and you don't really use slow start much unless there's a need or requirement to do so. But we'll look at those call flows later. So in this nugget, we started our discussion with H323, that it indeed is a suite of different protocols. We discussed how it's based on Q931, which is the signaling for the ISDN, we also discuss how it is a peer-to-peer -peer protocol because we have to fully configure our HD23 gateway to be fully independent in regards to call routing. We also discuss that H225 by default uses port 1720 and H225 is used for the call setup and teardown. And we also talked about the main difference between fast and slow start, which is when the media or when the media starts to flow. I hope it's been informative for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in an IT career or looking to brush up your IT skills, check out cbtnuggets.com and sign up for a free trial.